Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. I will be your host, Thrones, bringing you another role-playing build known as um, Mora Whisper, the worshipper of Heroes Meos Mora, the Psijic corrupted by Mora, the Mage's Guild turned to Psijic corrupted by Mora. Yeah, let's go with Mora Whisper. It's more easy. Let's just name the character after the set piece. Anyways, uh, my builds in a nutshell are role-playing builds, intended specifically for a niche casual playstyle. It's not intended for veteran content, it's not made for trials, it's not made for dungeons, it's, n it's not made for anything difficult. They are, it's a pure role-playing build for role-playing purposes, or for questing around normal content, and uh, if you, even if you try to go with these builds into a trial or whatever, you're gonna die, boy. You're gonna die, boy. Anyways, as the said theme, we went with a Nord, we went with a Sorcerer. The reason why we went Sorcerer is um, knowledge in one of the passer's names. That's it. That's the whole reason why I went with this class. You can go any class, any race, no problem. I love Nords and I went Sorcerer for that one reason. For the title, we're going Librarian, Attributes, Full Magicka, Thiefstone, cause more critical, why the hell not? Which Mother's Potent Brew, more Magicka, more... Um, health and um, more um, magic recovery. For the skills we went with Daedric Tomb. Um, we, we like the runes. We want the runes. Runes are nice. They, they scream ancient knowledge or whatever. You can go more runes with certain set pieces like Bahra's Curse and Eternal Hunt. An Eternal Hunt will spawn a rune that deals poison damage. It's, it's nice. It's niche. It's uh, yeah, it's well playable. For the second uh, skill, we it is our spammable, it's crushing weapon, and it is from the Sigic Order skill line. If you do not have the Sigic Order skill line, you can go with Crystal Weapon. It is a alternative, it's from the Sorcerer skill line, and it will uh, create these crystal thingies above the, around the weapons. It, it looks nice and it's class exclusive. But yeah, for now, we're going with Crushing Weapon, which deals physical damage and reducing the physical and spell resistance of enemies by X amount. And it costs Stamina. We went with the Stamina more because of one of the sets we're using. Third skill, Degeneration. But Thrones, why are we using this set? Why are we not using um, um, uh, Surge or whatever? Because I, I don't want uh, these lightning things around my hands on Surge. Yes, you can go with the uh, uh, Hidden Blade, but I want to go with a little bit more of magic aspect, so we're gonna go with Degeneration. De de degeneration, I don't know how to pronounce that. Degeneration. Inner Light from the ma uh, Mage skill line. While slaughtered, you get maximum magic and you get more weapons, savagery, and prophecy, giving you more critical rating by X amount. Also, because of the one of the. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Magicka Controller, you get more maximum Magicka for every magic, uh, Mage's Guild skill slotted. So we get 6% even more. 6% plus 5%, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. We, we like Magicka. We like Magicka. Bound Ages from the Sorcerer skill line. This one gives us 8% um, more maximum Magicka, which is very nice. We like Magicka. And it gives us Minor Resolve, increasing our physical and spell resistance by X amount. It's nice. For the ultimate, we are going Shooting Star, because meteors and nothing screams more knowledge in the arcane arts than yeeting a bloody meteor at enemies. On the back bar, Bound Ages, Inner Light are repeated, because um, for being slotted they give us bonuses. Channel Acceleration, Bend Time, Yada Yada, Gain Minor Force and Movement Speed, which is also from the Sigic Order skill line. If you don't have the skill line but want the bonus, you can go with the Trap Beast and morph it into Barb Trap. Or, 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 alternatively, you can go to the do you want, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a literally role-playing build. You can slap on, for all I care, a bloody napkin and just hit people with, with fists or whatever. Actually, that's a good idea. I need to make that one. Scalding Rune from the Major skill line. I like runes. They're, they're pretty. And deals damage over time, the Scalding Morph. The Volcanic mar um, Rune actually just eats enemies into the air. It could, could potentially work, but I don't want to. I want to go with this damage over time. And we're going with Unstable Wall of Fire because Maelstrom stuff. For the last ability, we're going uh, with uh, Undo. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the Morph itself. Um, 
Yeah, 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 it is back time by for four seconds where you were, and uh, Hermes Mora is a little bit intertwined with time, not like uh, the Sijiks themselves, even though this is the Sijik or um, Akatosh, but rather uh, he loves such books so much that he eated them through time, and that's just precious, and we love that. Also, I love Hermes Mora. He's my favorite David Prince. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm gonna mention it again if I did. If I didn't, he's my favorite prince. Yeah, that's it for skills. You can play around, just slap on whatever the heck you want. You want a bombing uh, Hermes Mora, go for it. Even though that's more Shigura. Uh, Shigura. If you want to go with Relic, one go with the Dawnbreaker for the ultimate and slap on a couple of artifacts in the fashion, like uh, the Skull of Corruption. And um, yeah, you can go with Skull Corruption. For the front bar, you can go with, uh, I don't know, you can go with Mehrin's Razor or Shiogora's Fork or whatever. And just slap on so many artifacts. But we're not gonna go with that, are we now? That would be better for a Silver Rose type of uh, build theme. Yeah. Anyways, uh, for the sets. The first one is all the ever wakeful guys. It is a monster set which you can get from the Imperial City PvP area from Zol the ever wakeful and it's pretty easy to get if you can literally just sneak, hit the boss a couple of times, let the enemy group kill him, let him die while you're dead, pick up the mask and yeet off. Or you can ask a friend to help you to get it. It's pretty pretty. You can't get the motif itself. You have to get set piece, but we don't lose too many stats considering we're gonna use a mythic for the shoulder priest which is Mora's Whisper the main fashion piece of everything it's these tentacle thingies on the shoulders it's pretty I love it I have been grinding for these pieces for 10 hours I lost my literal sanity while doing that we get critical chance and 10% uh, inspiration alliance rank alliance skill line um, 15% monster kill experience based on how many books of Shadow Library we have collected, so we have to read a lot. And that's nice. That's good. That that that's good. We also level up major skill skill line with this. So the sooner we get this to the max, the more meteors we get and the more powerful we get, etc. etc. For the first set we are going with martial knowledge. With the reason it's entitled knowledge. Knowledge. While your stamina is below 50%, uh, your light attacks cause the enemy to take 8% additional damage. It does not say from you. The boss itself or the target itself takes more damage from every source, from everyone. So it boosts the whole. Yeah, this is actually used, I think, in some trials as a support set. But it's very nice, considering we are using a stamina skill with get, which gets our stamina below 50% really fast. Because uh, our resource management is trash on this build. And that's because I'm trash. It's a role-playing build. What did you expect? Noble Duel is for the second set. When you deal uh, damage with a light or heavy attack in melee range, you increase the damage of your light and heavy attacks by X amount. It has a 100% uptime. It's glorious. It's beautiful. It's... Mwah. You can make a full-on heavy attack build, yada yada, you can make something much better than this, but as I said, it's a trash build. Don't, don't, don't follow my guides if you, if you are serious about the game, if you're a casual broke that doesn't have anything to do better in his life when it comes to his uh, account, which has over like six, seven thousand hours, and he cleared every single piece of content, but wants to get back into some questing around, and, uh, Wants to spark life into one of these characters, my builds are for you, mate. Or at least to inspire, you know, I don't know. It's, it's content. Maelstrom for the backstaff. I went fire because I don't want to go lightning. However, you can go lightning, you can go ice, you can go whatever the heck you want. It's, it's a scholar, like, it's a mage scholar. You can go any class, you can go sh shadow, you can go vampire scholar, you can go the heck you want. Anyways, for the champion points... Speed, speed, potions, fruit, damage, ooh, critical damage, single target damage, direct damage, health, armor, magicka back, stamina back, per kill. For fashion, we went Zoldi Ever Wakeful, Hermes more. 
For the chess piece, it's a little bit more unique on this one because it is uh, from the Iron Natural crates. Not many players have it. I mean, um, a lot of players have it, but you know. <coughs> Pardon. If you want alternative to bare chess pieces, you can go with size Sahan. It's one of the cheaper ones, easier ones to get, and it's really. I mean, it's very Khajiit like. If you if you want if you're playing of Khajiit, this would be perfect actually. I think. I think. I don't know. Nothing. Then we have the Crimson Oath. This one's also very, very rough to wear, but it's pretty. It does the job. You can go with Fanglair and Fanged Worm. Fanged Worm we can get from Battlegrounds. This one's from the Fanglair Dungeon or from the Guild Traders, which is the easier route and uh, the, the much, much easier route. You can go with the Silver Rose if you want to go with the the theme of, uh, you know, relics and stuff and how you stumble upon First Blade and Hermes Mora, yada yada, gives you magic and you get the shoulders and helmet and now you're a silver rose. You can go with that route. Or you can go with a full Sigic, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can go full Sigic, you know, just dye it correctly, add some, you know, black here. Actually, black here, you can go with more around here and there we go if you want to match the sigic colors full on then just go with i think it was strike blue was it strike blue i, I no 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 no. i think it was valkyr alakir 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 something where is the alakir alakir lapis yeah alakir lapis is the one for these then we can go with the colossus brass if you want uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Colossus Press for the medium pieces, so for the metallic pieces. And then you can go with Telvani Brown for the rest. And voila, you got yourself a Sigic uh, outfit thingy. I mean, it's more green, but you know, it's Harmonious Mora. What did you expect? I like black and green though. More demonic and everything else. Anyways, boys, I think that's it for the build. It's a quick one and oh yeah, tattoos. Tattoos, tattoos. Oh, yeah, people are gonna kill me if I don't show this. Abyssal Embrace Body Markings and Head Markings. You can get these from Shipwrights Regret. It's an achievement. You get to a dungeon. It can get become a pain in the ass and stuff. But let's ignore those uh, trivial things and just, you know, you just enjoy the tentacle of tattoos. Yeah. For the personality, we're going with the Scholar personality. If you don't have that one, you can always go with the Talvani one. It also looks pretty nice, pretty nice, especially if you're a uh, Dark Elf. That would be very nice. Otherwise, go whatever heck you want. I mean, honestly, you can, have a you can go in an insane beast from the Apocrypha. You can go with the crazy jester from Apocrypha. You can go with a Menicial men 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 or whatever you pronounce this. You can go with Bard using the tonal architecture music thingy. Combine it. I don't know. Scholar for me. Thank you. For the mounts, I'm using the Sigic Wolf. I can, not the flex. You can always go with the Sigic. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Normal. Yeah, Sigic Escort. If you had summer set at this one event thingy, you will get some Sigic mounts. If you don't want to go with the Sigic, this one, you want to go more evil, want to go more vampiric. You can always go with certain colors, and I believe it is under upgrades, collector packs. Uh, they don't have it here. Never mind. With the Somerset Collection Edition, you can get the quote unquote Sigic uh, Bloodthirsty Sigic mount. And for the dice, if you're curious about the dice, just slap on some uh, blood, frozen blood for the metallics, and you're gonna be good to go. Because it's very shiny for these pieces and they fit very nicely for that certain mount and just slap on some black, some red and you're good to go, become a vampire and voila. Anyways, I could give you a thousand more examples for a thousand more builds but for now let's just stick with Hermaeus Mora, the worshipper of... Um, yeah, we're gonna worship him because books and nerds but we're all nerds. I love books, I love the Cthulhu thingy, so yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the Celestial one. Bye bye.